hello friends welcome to my channel so today we'll be talking about what an admin app and user app really means how to create an admin app how to create a user app in sketchway so today i will give us the basis and also send an hello world message to a user app so first of all i'm going to create our admin app i'm going to create our admin our admin so the package name will become does admin app dot app then I'm also going to create our users app our users app com dot com dot users dot app So the next thing we're going to do is to go over to Firebase and create our Firebase project. So here I've created my Firebase project. So after my project is being created, I'm going to create our Firebase admin app and our Firebase users app based on our package name created. So Android, we're adding app, we're adding an Android app. The package name should be this package name the package name should be this package name so this is our firebase app our Firebase users app so next thing we're going to create our admin our admin So we are going to copy our Firebase details to our app. So we are going to go to our project settings, our project settings, and copy our Firebase data to our app. So we are going to copy it to our app. So the API key this is our API key. Then our app ID, our app ID for our users app. I'm going to copy the app ID for our users app. So we must know that the app ID from the user for the users app and for the and for the admin app is what differentiates the two. So Google differentiates them using their app ID. So So we have saved this for the users app for the users app then we are going to go over to the admin app we are going to go over to the admin app then come to our firebase then import we are going to import import from the users app 
so we are going to make changes to our app id like i see what differentiate the users app and the admin app is the app id which will, which is being generated by firebase in our project So now in our admin now our admin app has been created we are going to send hello to the users app we are going to send hello to the users app so we have an edit text an edit text we have an edit text With our send button, with our send button, send, send. So when we click on send button, we are going to send a message to our users app. So the key here is key value is the value in our edit text is the value in our edit text so is our send send to firebase so the users will retrieve it from firebase So when you when we have sent, you are going to clear the text in our edit text box. We are going to clear the text. So now we go over to the users app. Users app on child address. So we need to create a component the same name, the same name which will stand as a database reference. In our app and in our console so we come over to components we come over to on child added on child added we have the text we have the text a text view called hello world hello world so when the data comes from firebase it will change So we are going to send set data based on our data in Firebase. Key. So we are going to set hello world, which will be our default text view. So we are going to run our app, we are going to run our app, we are going to run our app. So not to forget, we are going to add this, if our Firebase account or our Firebase project is new, we are going to add this we are going to add this to our project we are going to add it this slash dash default rtdb we are going to add it to our project if our account is new we have built our app successfully 
Or will you send a message to the user arm? So in our users app, thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe.